Hi, I'm the Nature Kid, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about inky cap mushrooms. Inky caps are a type of mushroom that can be found growing, like, on wood or on old straw bales or in grass. They can also be found under trees, like these inky caps that are growing under this tree. And there's also some inky caps that are growing here. And, and inky caps are a pretty interesting mushroom, and this is because of their life cycle. This is what inky caps look like when they're first coming up out of the ground. They don't really look like, at first they don't really look like much. They're just tiny, tiny mushrooms. But how they, but how they grow is pretty cool. So as you can see, um, the gills, which are the lines on the bottom of the cap, you can see them like through or this if you see a cross section. There, there's no color change. They are just, um, they're just white. It, but it will soon change. Because this is what inky caps look like um, when they get a little bit older. And you can see the bottom of the cap the gills are starting to turn a little bit grayish. And if you open it up, the gray part is not very big, like it's only at the very base of the gills. But let's see what happens when they get a little bit older. This is what the inky cap mushroom looks like when it's just a little bit older. If you open it up, you can see that the gill color has changed again from gray to more black and the part that is still grayish brown is spreading up on the gills. So the top of the gills are starting to change color. But let's see what they look like when they're older. So this is what the inky cap looks like once it's a little older and if you look at the gills you can see that they have all changed color, with the exception of maybe a little bit at the top here. At the bottom, they're black, and in the middle, they're gray. There's almost no sign of its original whitish color. And if you open it up, you can see that the, that the color change is going even higher up on the gills. But what happens when the inky cap mushroom is even older? Now this is an even older inky cap. So, you can, so if you look at the bottom, you can tell that the gills have completely changed color. Like, there's, they're black more closer to the edge of the cap, and they're grayer further in. And you can even tell and see that the edge of the cap is starting to turn black as well. It's starting to turn gray. And if you open it up, you can tell that the, that the gills have, like, are really changing color. And the, it even, like, and the inside of the gills is turning black. And it's, and it's like, almost completely to the very top. But what does an inky cap look like when it's even older? Well, this is when it starts to get weird. This inky cap is an even older one. And the gills are completely black. And not only that, they're getting slimy and, and, and black and inky. This is why it's known as an inky cap. The gills have started to transform into an inky black mess. And the and this inky goose it was drip it is almost dripping off of the, the mushroom. The mushroom is beginning to rot. But what do they look like when they're even older? Now, it's not just the gills that have turned into black ink, but the cap is also rotting away. 
but although the cap is deteriorating, the stem is okay and is still strong. Even this older mushroom, which is basic, which is almost completely transformed into an inky slime ball, the oh, while the cap is gross, the stem is okay. But how and why is this? How can this turn into this? Well, as the mushroom gets older, the, uh, the cap and gills produce enzymes called chitinase. This causes the mushroom to deliquesce or auto-digest. This means that the mushroom digests itself. So it's not just that the mushroom is decomposing, the mushroom is literally rotting itself. But why? Well, this is what inky cap ink looks like under the microscope. All of these tiny little brown things are the spores. The, each of these spores has the potential to grow into a, a new inky cap mushroom, mycelium, which, could, which, which would produce a new inky cap mushroom. In case you didn't know, mycelium is the main structure of a fungus which is, is hidden underground. The mushroom is just the fruiting body which exists for producing spores. The mycelium looks like a, a web of tangled white threads. It's believed that the mushroom produces ink in order to spread the spores because the it's believed that when the mushroom is very young and the gills are tightly packed together, there's n there, it's very difficult for the mushroom to release the spores. So when the mushroom dissolves, the spores are released. But the spores are not the only things that are uh, in the inky cap ink. Do you see those tiny things moving around that are even smaller than the spores? These are bacteria that are probably feeding on the decaying mushroom. There are four genera of inky cap mushrooms. These genera are are Coprinus, Coprinopsis, Coprinellus, and Parasola. And added up together, there are, over, there are hundreds of different species of inky cap. Some species of inky cap mushroom are edible, such as the shaggy mane. Others are poisonous, such as the magpie mushroom. Some have unknown or questionable edibility, such as the hare's foot inky cap, and some, at least one, are edible by themselves, but poisonous if eaten with or, or eaten within a few days after or before drinking alcohol, such as the alcohol inky cap. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe for more Nature Kid videos. Bye!